The cricket season is on, IPL is just completed, and T20 World Cup is about to commence in a couple of days. And whenever Virat Kohli scores a 50, all Indian supporters feel ecstatic and jumping with joy, mainly for two reasons. One, Kohli has got a start and scored 50, which also means he will definitely convert it into 100. Two, it's not just an individual milestone. Whenever he scores a half century, he will make sure his team will win. This analogy is perfectly applicable to our leader and vice chancellor, Reverend Dr. Praveen Martis SJ, who has completed the half century in the golden innings of his life. And as we have witnessed in last few years, whenever he attains success, entire Elashian family gets a reason to celebrate knowing very well victory is well assured for all of us. Today, we have gathered here to rejoice with Father Praveen and wish him well for his century. Welcome you all. Let's start the proceedings by invoking the blessings of the Almighty. Our non-teaching team will lead us into prayer. Please remain seated. Time for the prayer.
On this occasion, we are delighted to have the dignitaries for the, uh, the day. Alongside the birthday boy, Reverend Father Praveen, we have Reverend Father Melvin Pinto, SJ, Rector of St. Elisha's Institutions, Reverend Dr. Melvin Dekuna, SJ, Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. Alvin Desa, the Registrar, and Reverend Father Vish Vishwas Muskit, SJ, the Finance Office. Of my request, Dr. Charles Furtado, the Program Coordinator, to please escort our dignitaries onto the days. A warm and a pleasant morning to each and everyone gathered here. William Berkeley, one of the most celebrated Scottish author, once said, there are two very important days a person can experience in his life. One, the day you're born, and then the day when you realize the reason why you're born. Yes, my dear ladies and gentlemen, today indeed it's been a very pleasant day, for the birthday boy has successfully completed the half century, and he deserves a big round of applause. And on this occasion, I deem it to be my privilege to welcome the gathering. First and foremost, a hearty welcome goes to the center of attraction of today, that is Honorable Vice Chancellor, Reverend Dr. Praveen Matish SJ. Welcome you, Father. We also have with us Reverend Father Melvin Pinto SJ, the Rector of St. Aloysius Institution. Father, hearty welcome to you. We are joined by our Pro Vice Chancellor, Reverend Dr. Melvin Dekuna. Father, we welcome you too. We have with us the Registrar Evaluation, Dr. Olvin Desa, so welcome. We are joined by the Finance Officer, Reverend Father Vishwas Muskit. Welcome you, Father. And very specially, the coordinator of this beautiful celebration is our own Dr. Charles Furtado. The, we can give a huge round of applause. Now, he's a father, but definitely not a Reverend Father, yes. Today, we are also happy to have amidst us people who are really close to our Honorable VC. We are joined by uh, his well-wishers. And if I have to go on, the list goes like this. To begin with, we have the directors who are representing their blocks. We have the deans. We have the HODs. Meanwhile, we are also joined by the priests, the nuns, and the well-wishers, and people from SACA, and the members of its uh, executive body, and also the teaching as well as the non-teaching fraternity. So on behalf of each and every one gathered here, I extend a warm welcome to the people who are on the days, and hearty welcome to the people of the days. Thank you. <laughs> a party without a cake is just like a meeting. And now it's time to hit the bullseye. And the birthday boy is now requested to kindly come forward along with the brigade and cut the beautiful cake and celebrate this beautiful day of his life amidst his team. I request each and every one to kindly rise and be a part of this celebration. Yes, Father, let there be a huge round of applause. I'm sure our minds are filled with joy and these emotions of joyfulness will be projected in a beautiful manner as we have planned for the two speeches. First, on behalf of all the teaching staff members, may I now call, call upon Dr. Charles Furtado to come with words of well-wishing for Father. Esteemed dignitaries on the days, and my dear colleagues. I am a father of two daughters. 
but it was a great privilege to be called Reverend Father for the first time in my life. I deem it a great privilege to raise a toast on behalf of the teaching fraternity of St. Aloysius deemed to be university in honor of a very special person who is celebrating a very special milestone in his life. We English teachers speak about collocations. Collocations talk about how some words have a special affinity for some other words. Like we don't say strong rain, we say heavy rain. And the collocation that I am talking about is the adjective happy with the noun birthday. I think all of us know, if you ask a kid, is this your birthday? He will say, it is my happy birthday. So, friends, we are here to celebrate a happy birthday. And it's not any happy birthday, it's a golden birthday. And it's not anybody's birthday, it's our beloved Vice Chancellor's golden happy birthday. Today, I would like to recall the theme of our 144th annual day celebrations held recently, looking back with gratitude, moving ahead with faith. I've always felt that this thought is appropriate for all milestone events. I'm sure that Father Praveen will look back with a heart brimming with gratitude at the eventful 50 years that he has already traversed and continue to move forward in faith towards all the great things that the Almighty has planned for him in the years to come through his divine providence. According to the Bible, God created man in his own image. And when one gets in touch with Father Praveen, it is obvious that God used the best ingredients at his disposal and poured the best raw materials into the mold when he created him. I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say that it is an onerous task to list all the qualities Father Praveen has been endowed with in the limited time I have this morning. Nevertheless, I'd like to mention at least a few, which for me are Father's signature qualities. For me, one of the most defining characteristics of Reverend Dr. Praveen Martis is his infectious ability to dream big and to aim for the stars. Friends, all of us know that however ambitious one's dreams might be, they can only be realized when they are accompanied by true grit, single-minded perseverance, and an insatiable appetite for hard work. This effervescent passion was there for all to see when Father Praveen spearheaded our quest for an excellent grade in the NAC fourth cycle appraisal. It will be an understatement to say that he was the prime mover and a real godsend, enabling our college to attain a high CGPA of 3.67. Another undisputable testimony to his never-say-die attitude and indomitable fighting spirit is his tenacious and resolute determination in ensuring that we finally acquired the much-coveted and long-awaited deemed-to-be-university status. Another quality I admire in Father Praveen is his sporting nature be it being the first volunteer for Joan Mam's cramp swap, be it affecting a strong, dipping, uncatchable throw straight into the opposite court while inaugurating the Elocian Throwball League, be it organizing the prestigious TEDx SAC or responding to Mona Mam's many impromptu challenges to dance to her tunes during our staff get-togethers. He is always the first to respond with his body, mind, and soul. This, I feel, creates an incredible synergy 
which flows out to his team, that is all of us, creating a proactive team of winners. Talking about creating a winning team, I don't know how many of you know that Father Praveen's middle name is Vijaya, which means victory in Kannada. Coincidence or not, I would like to steal a little credit here. My middle name is also Vijaya Kumar. Jokes apart, one of Father Praveen's greatest strengths, something I envy him for, is his uncanny ability to remember names, be it his colleagues, students, or even casual acquaintances. This reminds me of the biblical metaphor of the Good Shepherd, where the Good Shepherd knows each one of his sheep by name. This enables Father Praveen to establish a strong rapport with everyone he interacts, which in turn stands him in good stead in his manifold responsibilities as the vibrant leader of an iconic institution. I'm sure all of you will have noticed that the innate skill of choosing the right person for the right job is Father Praveen's forte. Father Praveen is an avid and voracious reader. This not only keeps him abreast of the latest in the realm of knowledge, but also makes him adept at speaking fluently and cogently on a plethora of topics, a feat that never fails to impress everyone. Friends, I'm sure that all of us here, especially teachers, have experienced a sense of overwhelming pride when we hear that our students have achieved great heights in their careers or in life itself. You could imagine how proud I am to have the honor of working with my student, whom I taught English way back in the early 90s as my principal and now my vice chancellor. I must confess that I probably wouldn't have remembered that I had taught Father Praveen had he not revealed this to me himself when he first met me during a meeting in the evening college. This memory lapse of mine could be because of two reasons. First, I've definitely not been blessed with a photographic memory like Father Praveen. Second, Father Praveen definitely was not one of the notorious students in my class. There is absolutely no doubt that for most of us gathered here today, getting an opportunity to serve in St. Aloysius College, now deemed to be university, a Jesuit institution is one of the best things to happen in our lives. I for one know that the 33 years and more I have spent as a Jesuit collaborator, I am using this term from my heart, have given me ample opportunities to work with, to learn from, and to try to imbibe some of their exemplary values and qualities. All of us are aware that the letters SJ stand for Society of Jesus. One of the greatest and foundational principles I have noticed in the many Jesuit fathers who served in SAC, and most importantly in both our dear rector and Father Vice-Chancellor is their commitment to their calling and their mission to walk with their chosen role model, Jesus Christ. In fact, when I was preparing this toast, a small chorus I learned long back as a kid in Sunday school came to my mind. Some of you might have heard it. It's called Walking with Jesus. I'd like to ask your permission to actually sing this chorus now in honor of Father Praveen. Walking with Jesus, walking every day, walking all the way, walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus along. Please listen to the lyrics carefully. Walking in the sunshine, walking in the shadow, walking every day, walking all the way, walking with Jesus, 
walking with Jesus along. Life is never a bed of roses. Those of us who have known Father Praveen from close quarters, and especially those who listened to his story straight from the heart during the first edition of Anubhuti, know that he has had to tide over many a storm, cross uncharted terrains, and experience both joys and sorrows in his 50-year marathon thus far. He has walked in the sunshine and in the shadow, but he has walked with Jesus every day, and we wish him God's munificent blessings as he continues to walk with Jesus all the way. I now request all of you to join me in wishing Reverend Dr. Praveen Martis S.J., our beloved Vice Chancellor, a blessed, golden, happy birthday. Let us pray that the Almighty continues to hold him in the palm of his hand and grant him good health, happiness, and share his choicest blessings from above. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This Shaikshanika Samsthayannu Pragatiya Pathadalli Munnadesalu Shikshaka Sibbandi Ondige Shikshaketara Sibbandi Avara Patra Kuda Inchi Vagiyu Atya Mooliya Vathadu Yella Shikshaketara Sibbandi Aparavagi Shri Edwin Menezes Yuru Father Avarige Iga Shubahara Istar Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you. Tumi maka avinsun kaduna, havi tumka avinsun kadla, tumi bai sun was on fold these day. Ye deva avakya, deva avakya, namanechi nakulapati galada, Reverend Father Pavin Martis, S.J. Avarige, Anuish today. ಈ ದೇವರ ವಾಕ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಓಗೊಟ್ಟು ಧರ್ಮಗುರುಗಳಾಗಿ ಜೆಸ್ವಿಟ್ ಸಭೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇವೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುವ ನೀವು ಇಂದಿಗೆ ಐವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಹುಟ್ಟುಹಬ್ಬದ ದಿನವನ್ನು ಆಚರಿಸುತ್ತೀರಿ ಬೋಗ ಬೋಧಕೇತರ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಗಳ ಕರೆಯೊಲೆಗೆ ಸ್ಪಂದಿಸಿ ನಮ್ಮೊಂದಿಗೆ ಇದ್ದೀರಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಫಾದರ್ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಉದ್ದೇಶಿಸಿ ಒಂದೆರಡು ಮಾತುಗಳನ್ನು ನೀಡಲು ಬಯಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಯೇಸು ಕ್ರಿಸ್ತನ ಸಭೆಗೆ ಸೇರಿ ಸೇವೆ ಸಲ್ಲುವುದೆಂದರೆ ಕೇವಲ ಗುಲುಗಳಾಗುವುದು ಮಾತ್ರವಲ್ಲ ವಿವಿಧ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ದುಡಿಯುವುದು ಹಾಗೂ ಹಿರಿಯರು ನೀಡಿದ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿಗಳನ್ನು ನಿಭಾಯಿಸುವುದು ಗುರುಗಳಾಗಿ ತಾಯಿ ತಂದೆ ಕುಟುಂಬದವರನ್ನು ತ್ಯಜಿಸಿ ಯಾವುದೊಂದು ದೇಶಕ್ಕೆ ಯೇಸು ಕ್ರಿಸ್ತನ ಶುಭ ಸಂದೇಶವನ್ನು ನೀಡಲು ಹೋಗುವುದು ಹಾಗೂ ಜೀವನವನ್ನು ತ್ಯಾಗ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಮಿಷನರಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಕೆಲವರು ಸೋಷಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಹೋಗುವುದು ಜೀವನವನ್ನು ತ್ಯಾಗ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಇನ್ನು ಕೆಲವರು ಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಂತ್ಯಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇವೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುವುದು ಪ್ಯಾರಿಸ್ ಫಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇತರರ ಸೇವೆ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಆದರೆ ನೀವು ಮಾತ್ರ ಹಿರಿಯರು ನೀಡಿದ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿಯಿಂದ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನವನ್ನು ಶಿಕ್ಷಣಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಹಾಗೂ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ನಡೆಸುವ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಮುಡಿಪಾಗಿಟ್ಟು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ವಿದ್ಯೆಯಿಂದ ಉನ್ನತ ವಿದ್ಯೆ ಗಳಿಸಿ ಇಂದು ಸಂತ ಅಲೋಷಿಯಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಯ ಕುಲಪತಿಗಳಾಗಿ ಸೇವೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಬೋಧಕೇತರ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಸಹಪಾಠಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಸಂತಸವೇ ಸಂತಸ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಐವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ವಿದ್ಯೆಗೆ ಹಾಗೂ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ನೀಡಿದ ಸೇವೆ ಅಪಾರ ಗುರುಗಳಾಗುವುದೆಂದರೆ ಕೇವಲ ಪೂಜೆ ಮಾಡುವುದಲ್ಲ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಮನೋಭಾವದಿಂದ ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಂದುಳಿದವರನ್ನು ಮೇಲೆತ್ತುವುದು ಯೇಸು ಕ್ರಿಸ್ತರ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಮುಜ ಅತಿ ಲನಾಭಾವ ಕೆಕ್ಲ್ಯಾ ಕಿತೆ ತುಮಿ ಕೆಲೆ ದೆ ಮಕಾಸ್ ತುಮಿ ಕೆಲೆ ಒಬ್ಬನನ್ನು ವಿದ್ಯಾವಂತನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಹಾಗೂ ವಿದ್ಯೆ ಗಳಿಸಲು ಬೇಕಾಗುವ ಎಲ್ಲ ಥರದ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹಗಳನ್ನು ನೀಡುವುದು ಹಾಗೂ ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ನಾಗರಿಕನಾಗಿ ಬೆಳೆಯಲು ಸಹಕರಿಸುವುದು ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸೇವೆಯಿಂದ ಅಪಾರ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ವಿದ್ಯೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಹಾಗೂ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿಯಿಂದ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಬೆಳೆದಿದೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಮುಂದೆಯೂ ನಡೆಯುತ್ತದೆ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಕಳೆದ ಒಂಬತ್ತು ವರ್ಷಗಳಿಂದ ನಾವು ನಾನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ ಕಂಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಎಂದೆಂದಿಗೂ ಯಾವ ವಿಷಯದಲ್ಲೂ ನೀವು ಕಡೆಗಣಿಸಲಿಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಮ ನಿರಂತರ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹದಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಸಂತೋಷವಾಗಿದೆ 
ಹಾಗೂ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಇವತ್ತು ಐವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದ ಹುಟ್ಟುವ ಹಬ್ಬದಂದು ಅರಸಲು ಸಂತೋಷವಾಗುತ್ತದೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಆಡಳಿತ ಅವಧಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಗುಣಗಳನ್ನು ಕಂಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಎಂದರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮೃದು ಸ್ವಭಾವ ನಾವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ತಿರ ಯಾವುದಾದರೊಂದು ವಿಷಯಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದರೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಅಗತ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದರೆ ನೀವು ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಎಂದೆಂದಿಗೂ ಏರು ಧ್ವನಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತನಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಬದಲಾಗಿ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹಿಸಿ ಉತ್ತೇಜಿಸಿ ಸಮಾಧಾನ ಮಾಡಿಸಿ ಕಳುಹಿಸಿದಿರಿ ಇದು ನಮಗೆ ಸಂತೋಷ ನೀವು ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲರಾಗಿ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸಿದಿಂದಲೂ ನಾನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆ ಸಮಾನರಾಗಿ ಕಂಡಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಅವರು ಇವರು ಎಂಬ ಭೇದ ಭಾವ ಮಾಡದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲೂ ಮುಂದೆ ಬರಲು ಅವಕಾಶ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಸಣ್ಣ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವಿರಲಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಇರಲಿ ನಾನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫಿಗೆ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಆದ್ಯತೆ ನೀಡಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಯಾವ ನಾನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ ಇರಲಿ ಅವರ ಹತ್ತಿರ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಟ್ಯಾಲೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಎಂದು ಗುರುತಿಸಿ ಅವರನ್ನು ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹಿಸುವುದು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಗುಣ ನಾನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಪ್ರತಿ ವರ್ಷವೂ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯ ಭರಿತ ವರ್ಕ್ಶಾಪ್ಗಳನ್ನು ನೀಡಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಪ್ರತಿ ವರ್ಷ ನೀಡಿದ್ದೀರಿ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಹೊಸತೊಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ನಮಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಮೆಚ್ಚುಗೆ ತಂದಿದೆ ನಾನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ ಮೇಲಿನ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ತೋರಿಸ್ತದೆ ನಾನು ಅಥವಾ ಇತರರು ಸೇವೆಗೆ ಸೇರುವಾಗ ಅಂದಿನ ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲರ ಹತ್ರ ಫಾದರ್ ನನಗೆ ಹೈಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಕಲಿಯಬೇಕು ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಮುಗಿಸಬೇಕು ಡಿಗ್ರಿಗೆ ಸೇರಬೇಕು ಅಪ್ಪಣೆ ಪರ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಕೇಳಬೇಕಿತ್ತು ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲರು ಪರ್ಶ್ ಪರ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಕೊಡುವುದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಹಾಕುತ್ತಿದ್ದರು ರಜೆ ಕೇಳುವಂತಿಲ್ಲ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಇರುವಾಗ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಗೆ ಬರೀಲಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಪಾಸಾದರೆ ಪ್ರಮೋಷನ್ ಕೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಇಂಥ ಹಲವು ಕಾರಣಗಳು ಆದರೆ ನೀವು ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲರಾದ ನಂತರ ನಮ್ಮ ಕ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಕರೆದು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಕಲಿಯಬೇಕೆಂದು ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹಿಸಿದ ಹಾಗೂ ಕಲಿತವರಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವರನ್ನು ಪ್ರಮೋಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಮೊತ್ತ ಮೊದಲ ಕುಲಪತಿಯಾಗಿದ್ದೀರಿ ನಾನ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಇದೊಂದು ವರದಾನವೇ ನನ್ನ ಮೂವತ್ತೇಳು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆರು ಕ ಪಾಂಶುಪಾಲರ ಕೈ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಆದರೆ ನೀವು ನನ್ನ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ನೋಡಿ ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಷ್ಟು ಯಾರೊಂದು ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲರು ಮಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇಂದಿನ ವರ್ಷಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ತುಂಬ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಸೇವೆಯನ್ನು ವಿದ್ಯಾಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ವಿವಿಧ ಹುದ್ದೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನೀಡಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಅತಿ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿಯ ಹುದ್ದೆ ಕುಲಪತಿಗಳಾಗಿ ಮುಂದುವರಿಯುತ್ತೀರಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಅಧಿಕಾರಾವಧಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಉನ್ನತ ಮಟ್ಟಕ್ಕೆ ಬೆಳೆಯಲಿ ದೇವರು ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಶಾಂತಿ ನೆಮ್ಮದಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ನೀಡಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರು ಪ್ರವೀಣ್ ವಿಜಯ್ ಮಾರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಹೆಸರಿಗೆ ತಕ್ಕಂತೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರವೀಣತೆಯಿಂದ ವಿಜಯ ಪಥದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಸಾಗಲಿ ದೇಶಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾದರಿಯಾಗಿ ಬೆಳೆಯಲಿ ಎಂದು ಹಾರೈಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ನುಡಿದ ಕೆಲವು ಮಾತುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ನೋವು ತಂದಿದೆ ಎಂದಾದರೆ ಕ್ಷಮಿಸಬೇಕೆಂದು ಕೇಳಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಾ ನನ್ನೆರಡು ಮಾತುಗಳನ್ನು ಮುಗಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಆಲ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಎಡ್ವಿನ್ ಸರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ನೋವು ತಂದಿರುವ ಒಂದು ವಿಷಯ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ರಿ ಆದರೆ ನೀವು ಓದುವ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಟೈಪ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅದು ಕೂಡ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಲ್ಲದಿದ್ದರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಖುಷಿ ಆಗ್ತಿತ್ತೇನು ಬಹುಶಃ ಆಲ್ ಐ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ವೆಲ್ ವಿಶಿಂಗ್ ಸೆರೆಮನಿ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದ ಸಾಕಾ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಬೆರಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಮೈ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸುನಿಲ್ ಕುಂದರ್ ಸಾಕಾ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ ಕಮಿಟಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸುಮಿತ್ ರಾವ್ ಹೂ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಫ
of your age, but to celebrate the wisdom, experience, and leadership you bring to every endeavor of yours. Reverend Dr. Martis's journey is not just a story. It's an inspiration. Born in the quaint town of Shankarpura near Udupi, which is very famous for the fragrant flowers, the Mallighehu. We have one precious Mallighehu also with us in Father Praveen. He embarked on a path fueled by a relentless pursuit of knowledge and service. From humble beginnings to serving first as a rector of rector and principal of St. Joseph's College, Bangalore, and to now becoming the vice chancellor of St. Aloysius deemed to be university, his tragic trajectory epitomizes the transformative power of education and perseverance. Having known him personally for quite some time, I still recall one of our conversations late into the night, maybe into at till 1 p.m., I and uh, Praveen were talking during our Elocean Day celebration session. I have had, I can confidently say that he has truly lived by the Jesuit ethos of working for the greater glory of God. And he is a living example of the Elocean motto, Lucet et Ardet, which means it shines and it burns or enkindles. These guiding principles have not only shaped his personal and professional endeavors, but have also illuminated the path for generations of students and educators. His academic pursuits spanning from St. Aloysius College to institutions across the globe reflect his unwavering commitment to excellence. But it's not just the degrees adorning the wall that define his legacy. It's the profound impact he's had on the institutions he's served. Under his stewardship, St. Aloysius College evolved into a beacon of academic excellence, garnering national recognition and accolades. The recent elevation to be deemed to be a university status is a testament to his vision, leadership, and unwavering dedications to excellence. This whole journey of becoming a university started maybe 15 years ago, and there were so many people who tried, but it was Father Praveen Vijay Martis who succeeded. That itself is a testimony of his hard-working nature and his perseverance and skill. Our bel beloved alma mater, St. Aloysius, holds a special place in the hearts of people of this region. With 144 years of existence, it has stood by its inherent values of ensuring social justice through the education of the poor and downtrodden, Looking back upon history, we can proudly say that this institution has played a pivotal role in the social and economic advancement of the entire district of Dakshina Kannada, undivided. As Reverend Dr. Praveen Vijay Martis has already assumed the mantle of Vice Chancellor, we are confident that he will magnify the institution's legacy manifold and that his tenure will be marked by innovation, inclusivity, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. His leadership will undoubtedly chart a course towards greater heights, enriching the lives of students and communities alike. So, what are we waiting for? Let's just say cheers, not just in celebration, but in anticipation of the remarkable journey ahead. Cheers to Reverend Dr. Ravin Martis, a visionary leader, an exemplary educator, and a beacon of inspiration to all of us. Happy birthday, Reverend Father Praveen Vijay Martis, and cheers to many more years of transformative leadership. I now request Praveen Kundar, the president of the St. Aloysius Alumni Association, I mean, Sunil Kundar, sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I've been enamored by talking about Praveen, <laughs> that <laughs> I call Sunil also and Praveen. Now I request the president of our Aloysius Alumni Association, Mr. Sunil Kundar, to present a bouquet to him as a token of our love and appreciation from all of us at SACA. Hey everyone, on behalf of SACA, it is my proud privilege to felicitate uh, our Vice Chancellor. Uh, I wish, it is a momentous day today, I wish our uh, beloved uh, Vice Chancellor, Reverend Dr. Pravin Martis, best of health and uh, the flurry of uh, ever-increasing energy levels, as he has been uh, known for. And uh, we have, as a small token of respect, we have a small uh, 
um, green uh, memento, which uh, our uh, senior most uh, executive member, Mr. Winston De Souza, will uh, hand over as a mark of respect and love and affection towards uh, our uh, Vice Chancellor, Reverend uh, Dr. Pravin Martis. Thank you, Saka members. After this, we are calling upon all the dignitaries and different representatives to come up, come on stage and offer a bouquet to Father Praveen. Uh, here goes the sequence. First, after this, will be Father Rector, Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Finance Officer, five directors from different blocks, Father Kiran, who will be representing AMIT campus. Dr. Ishwar Bhatt, representing the Staff Association. Professor Cletus de Souza, who's a member from 1971 batch. Mr. Ramachandra Bashri, who will be representing the non-teaching staff. And if at all we have the guests who have come and well-wishers who have come with the bouquets, at the end you can come and offer the bouquets to Father Praveen. Meanwhile, our team will be singing the well-wishing song. We'll start with Father Rector. All the names which I've called upon, you can just be on stage for this ceremony. Tira 
very happy birthday to you, Father Praveen Vijay Martis, more than a vice chancellor, I should say, a close friend of mine. I came here as rector and uh, I didn't know you much. I didn't live in any community with you. I'd only heard of you. And having come here, I feel happy standing here wishing you a happy 50th golden birthday. My dear friends, I'm, uh, I shared something at mass today, this morning, but I suppose some of you were not there. I'm not going to repeat what I said at mass uh, about his, in that mass I was generally speaking about the journey that he went through in making this college a university. But I think what I, what spe the special quality about Father Praveen is never say die, never say enough. Even when I was getting discouraged, there was Father Praveen going on and on, keeping his trust in God, deep sense of faith and the hope in his heart that this institution has to develop. Many would have thought, many would have misunderstood also that Father Praveen might be doing because he wants to have a share of glory in this institution. Not even one percent of it. I stand witness to it as a person who knows his conscience. And, and I can say this, that he did it out of utter selflessness for the sake of this institution, that this institution in which he studied, incidentally which I studied and some of many of you studied, that this institution for the sake of this, uh, for the people of Mangalore and uh, people of India today and of the world also today, that should, this should become a university imparting knowledge to the world. And if for the Praveen has done this, he has done it in utter humility. And uh, when we wish him for his 50th um, birthday, we are wishing him, not just him, but because he is a gift to this institution, a gift to the world. Father Praveen, we, it's a privilege for us to be around you. I, don't know, I know for sure you don't like too much of fanfare and people making much of you. But then, uh, it is our joy to say we appreciate you and we appreciate all that you do for this institution. There is, you have been doing it tirelessly. I am good 10 years and 5 months older to him. But I tell you one thing, I don't think I would have had the half of that or one tenth of that energy that he has when I was 50. And that's because he's so passionate about what he is doing. There's something of a fire in him. I don't know where he finds time to uh, do his personal work, attend to so many things, ring up to so many people, get into touch with so many people, get things done, do things himself, and then find time for prayer, recreation, and for his, pers for his personal time. I, I think his day has got 48 hours and not 24 like us. Something of a power in him, I think all that power comes from his deep faith in God to know that he is connected to that vine, as I said at Mass, the vine and the branches. And he knows it's, he's an important branch which God has, and God has, God's power has been flowing through him and reaching out to so many people and beneficiaries. I appreciate all that you do. We thank God for the gift that is you, Father Praveen. And I wish you many more years of fruitful service, not just to St. Elvisius, but to the world. Because now we are reaching out to the world. We are going out from this institution He's just back from London. We have plans to reach out to other parts of the world. And when it happens, it's not just for people of Mangalore, but to the world. And therefore, we wish you many more fruitful years that you may do well. Uh, God bless you. 
uh, and may you find deepest fulfillment in all that you do. Thank you. God bless you. Respected Rector and all the dignitaries on the days and off the days and my dear members of the faculty. It's been a very special year as 50th year. I never expected that God would shower so many graces and blessings on this special year. Because when I was a child, I was always a shy boy and also they did not make out, neither Dr. Ishwar, but he was the first one when I joined here, asked me a question, can you tell your name? Because I was joined in the second year. Because he found a new person in the class. And I was so shy and frightened, I says, said my name and sat down. And after that, he could never find out where I was. And then even the child sir also something similar. And I was telling my students, even for my admission, I never entered the principal's office, nor after that. But I became one. I think that's how God's destiny is. Because I did not know where. I knew only the principal's place. Because somebody else did my admission. Someone else did all the things. And then I just quietly went around in this campus. As it was like, you no, know, nobody would know. Even among my friends. And only very close. Maybe three of us were moving all the time together. Other than those three other friends also in the class who don't know me. But I was very quiet. And also, when it came to the 50th, Birthday, I said I was so shy of birthdays because it was coming on holidays anyway and never celebrated in the school. Even as a Jesuit, once I still remember we were in a Mundgod, far away, remote place. And neither my parents, because those days no calls, that year I think everybody forgot. Even I, including me, because we were working in the village or somewhere. Then after some five days, on the 25th, then somebody said May was my birthday. Which was the day. Then slowly maybe three of us were there together as my companions and went and had some uh, Coca-Cola. I still remember. That's how I used to celebrate my birthdays on holidays and very shy of it and hardly celebrated even in the Jesuit order because it was always coming on holidays. Only after coming here, I think the celebration began. When I was in Joseph's also, it was on holidays. So it was on uh, 20th, no celebration at all. I don't remember Though I was there for four years, any celebration, somebody would remember and wish me and go. That was very quiet. But when I came here, there was already a tradition of principal's birthday that was celebrated along with the non-teaching staff. I think that I loved very much. And that continued for almost seven years. And this year, all of you have joined, including my friends and well-wishers. And the Saka also has joined this year, making it a very special 50th birthday. Otherwise, it was all very quiet. As Edwin said, we had a quiet celebration and I enjoyed that celebration being with the non-teaching faculty and uh, somehow things went on. But this year being very special and also maybe I was not around here on the 20th. My mother always used to say, I was born on a day there was heavy rain. Pouring rain, almost about seven days. Continuous rain. And that may be the nature, or as a child, I was very timid because of that, possibly. I was trying to reflect because of fear and, uh, like, you no know, the thunder and all that as a child. Maybe something I was always reflecting, why I was so quiet all through and hardly had any friends all along. And when I say this, everybody will be surprised that I had to adorn such kind of a position in my life. I never even dreamt, even as a scholastic, even as a brother of those... Uh, 12 years of seminary days, I was also very quiet then. Hardly anybody would notice me, even in my batch or anywhere. And only after that, ordination and things changed later on, and I had to come to this level of limelight. So that is something God's design. I never wanted it. Maybe God wanted it for a special purpose. That's why 50th birthday to celebrate in the rain. In Europe, always it rains. So maybe that was the time that uh, when I celebrated on the 20th, partly morning I was in London, and then we traveled to Edinburgh in Scotland in the afternoon. So it was in two countries that the 50th birthday was split into on celebration. So it was a different kind of an experience. I always like to go for a mass on that day. But then since we were traveling, the previous day was a Pentecost. That's why 50th, I think that I remembered very much uh, this year, the blessing of the Holy Spirit. 
I quietly got up and went for a mass and somebody said, why don't you, because in London, if you ask who you are, they may not know. I never go with my identity. That's one blessing with Jesuit. When Dr. Dennis was there, when we were in a place, uh, I wanted to celebrate mass. He said, have you got your identity card? I never take my identity card as a priest. But then for the first time, I met an Indian priest there. And he was the one who asked me for identity card. I said, I would call you a priest, somebody else. We don't believe that I'm a priest. And there are three of them along with me. If you don't believe them, then I don't want to celebrate. Then finally, he said, OK, you can come along with me and celebrate. Otherwise, all along, I traveled everywhere. Nobody asked me. Never carried an identity card. Neither in USA, nor in Canada, nor in England, other places. Nobody asked me. This is the first time somebody asked that to an Indian. Otherwise, <laughs> that's God's blessing. That being a Jesuit, we are so fortunate. Wherever I have gone, so many places I have gone to Jesuit community, nobody asked me, are you a Jesuit? There is an identity card for you, nothing. The moment you said a Jesuit or a priest, they accept. And somehow that's been a God's blessing. That's why I would like to today especially thank my parents, as I said in the uh, church already, a special blessing to me, born in a very good family. My father was a well-known uh, social worker and a person who has dedicated himself to the society and mother also at home, hard worker, so both the natures would have come along with that. I would like to especially thank them. Both are there at home. My father, unfortunately, is a bedridden, would have come. Otherwise, you always like celebration. Mother doesn't like and I don't like. Whereas my father likes celebrations. He enjoys celebrations and he likes people. He wants more and more people. The bigger the crowd, better for him. He's like Father Santosh Kamath. I always refer Father Santosh Kamath and my father almost similar nature. But whereas I had the nature of my mother, never liked any crowd or any celebration. So I'm almost like that part. But anyway, God's ways are different. Today they are there. I remember them very specially. And also my siblings, none of them could come here today because they have, one is quiet at home, he's quieter than me. So he doesn't like any celebration. One would like the celebration is in Manglo, but uh, he is in US because his children are settled there, so he's gone to see them. So last time he was here, another one is in uh, Mysore, he couldn't make it. He also doesn't like celebration. So only one who celebrates is my elder brother who is here, another one is my father. So that way it was rather quiet, we had no celebration at home so far. So this is how my home, my family here at St. Elvishas, I think we are all celebrating. And I'm grateful to you all coming together and celebrating my birthday in a very special way. It's all a strong family bond. I'm here for a long time. I saw also in the church, St. Elvishas has something very special to me. I never knew St. Elvishas was run by Jesuits. I was reading in the newspapers when I was studying in Kannada Medium from the school where I studied about St. Elvishas always in the second page. I was a voracious reader. I used to always read Udayavani. Second page, something about Aloysius would come. So I would know about St. Aloysius from that point of view, then Benjamin Sir and others in sports and all that. But never thought I would one day come here. I never knew that who were running that, uh, this particular college. I didn't know till I joined. And all, that's why I said God's graces and blessings. Then somebody, one priest from a Jesuit order came to the parish where I was and then he liked me and that's how I came here for my second year and third year studies. And uh, then I liked the Jesuits. I liked the Jesuits very much. And I think that was my destiny. And I really enjoyed being a Jesuit. I don't think I would have been fit into any other congregation other than a Jesuit congregation. I think uh, if somebody asked me if you are born again, I would be a Jesuit again. Because I loved this congregation and loved this order, very special order, where you have got opportunity to be anyone. You know, something you don't get anywhere else. And a thinker, you can ask questions, you can even differ with the other Jesuits and other members. I don't think any other congregation, it will ever happen. Because even I had many doubts about God himself when I was doing my philosophy. And I could ask this question to my philosopher Jesuits and they would take it in a very good way and then we would have a wonderful chat. I don't think if any other order, if I had asked this question, I would have been out saying that, like, you know, without belief, how did you come and join? But then we could go deeper and deeper. I think that happens only in this order. No, no other order, I think, they will allow to go deeper into that. That's why I truly love and I'm thankful to the Jesuit community here and Jesuit fathers who take, took care of me from the beginning. 
if not for them because i didn't even know to speak a single word in english is all to jesuits if it all not joined the jesuit order i don't think i would have spoken good english or done so many things is all because of the fathers who poured their love and affection to me throughout throughout from my pre novitiate days and the novitiate days i truly loved those experiences and after that the philosophy theology the superiors those who came into my life and my provincials and all of them and special two people i would like to remember uh, when i came to st elvisius here for the stani was the provincial and he appointed me here also i was in bangalore and then father dinesius was very special way because he was a rector here and gave me an opportunity to serve this institution and then after that he himself becomes uh, provincial and now the present rector i got much to say about the present rector has been a very very kind and uh, loving and affectionate person if not for him i always said i don't think i would have gone ahead or saint aloysius in the time that we are thinking would have been a university it's only because of his relentless support unlimited unconditional support any time he would say go to delhi here and there he wouldn't even ask a question he would simply say go and i think uh, if not for that i would i don't think that this would have become any other superior would have been there would have told us to stop somewhere but he said never and even we had difficulties in various forums he would defend and come and say you go ahead and that was the support i got shall we all give him a huge round of applause for this love that he has poured on us because for me it was very very close because last four years have been closely associated and working together for this uh, saint aloysius lot of dreams one person cannot dream and have something big that both of us could vibrate with many other wonderful dreams and various concepts that we have i think has been a very very great support to me otherwise i don't think i would have ever done what i was destined to that's why it is all god's ways how god in a jesuit order also puts us together to do something for an institution so that institution happens today something which uh, could be dreamt of together of course all of you have supported throughout this journey one way or the other there was a strong support from 1971 batch here father xavier gomes accompanied me several times along with the mr walter de souza and their team and michael i must always remember if not for his support in terms of monetary benefits and other things always said st aloysius we are there because these things are very very important for us to go ahead to do something otherwise you cannot dream these are the people who are there behind the scene and father valerian has been a great support any time he just dreams about st aloysius even his 90s he says i want to say something like you know that st aloysius becomes it's all because of your dreams and so many of you some of us can work but i think behind the scenes so many of you are there prayers and support all the time doing such great things if not for the nrf ranking and nag grade we wouldn't have done something like this it's all because of the faculty members working day and night that you all are here your hard work has finally gave us this way to become deemed to be university so i would like to specially thank all of you this is my extended family now from last many years that many things at st aloysius i said i started off with my vocation here then my regency also as jesuits have to do one year of regency happened to be in mangalo uh, father dian was my uh, guide that time as a director so that's how i know and partly father dian and fa father stani were six months with two of them so i think both of them became provincials and i had that at a young age itself to work with them to understand so they were great dreamers so i learned a lot from those dreamers that i got an opportunity to work with them during my regency and after that ordination was here itself in 2005 st aloysius because many other people have ordination different places some of i had the opportunity to be here itself and then coming back from 2015 onwards being at st aloysius and dreaming along with you to do something special so i would like to specially thank all of you for this a uh, gesture of yours coming together and making this day a very memorable day and historic day i would like to thank all of you and many many more people have not come here but i would like to thank everyone and special thanks to 
the people in the community where I live. The Jesuits, many are here, and the director, the registrars, and all have worked very closely with me in the last many years, and the SACA members, and all of you have worked really hard. I would also remember the students. I love students, and our students are doing extremely well. When we were in London, we met quite a few of our students. Some of them came to know that we are there around, and they came from different universities. Those are passed out even last year. And those students are already doing their studies, so we could dream big. Our students, without our support, on their own have gone and doing their studies abroad. So as the director said, I think it's the time for us, when we become a university, all of us together dream quite big, because it is possible for us. Because we are a 145-year-old institution, and our students are everywhere, all over the world. So maybe together we can do something great for the service of God, as Mr. Sumit said, we have got a mandate as Jesuits. I think that mandate will always remain very, very strong and rooted to us as Jesuits. And definitely, along with you, we'll be able to do something greater. Once again, thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Father. That brings us to the end of this particular function. Uh, the fellowship meal is arranged in Sahodaya Hall. May I now request Father Vishwas to say grace before meal. If you could please rise for a while. Today, as we come here to celebrate the birthday of Reverend Dr. Praveen Martis S.J., we thank God for the gift of life that Father has received. We thank God for the numerous blessings that he has received in his life. Very specially, we recount and recollect and thank God for the miracles that God has performed through him in the lives of so many people and especially in this institution. And we pray that God may continue to bless and touch the lives of many more people whom he comes in contact with. And today, as we gather here on this special occasion, we pray that as we receive the food that is prepared, may it strengthen the bond among us May we share in the joy of the celebration of Father's birthday, and may it give strength to our body and mind. We make this prayer in the name, in your holy name. Thank you, each one of you, for making this day very special for Father Praveen.